Hola, ¿qué tal? Um, here is the first video in a range of videos that I'm going to make on um, idiomatic expressions in Spanish, okay? And this is to help you to um, make your Spanish into something that's much more uh, living. You see, what happens is this. When we learn Spanish, we learn Spanish um, in a very formal way. Okay, we learn the rules and the regulations and we learn what we should do and how we should express ourselves. And then we go into the real world and we discover that people don't talk like that. And their whole language is filled with idiomatic expressions. Now, with these expressions, either you know them or you don't know them. Because most times they don't translate very well. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start giving you some idiomatic expressions that actually appear in the book that I've just finished writing, um, a parallel textbook, and you can start to build up your kind of living Spanish. Okay, so let's start. It's alphabetical, okay? So I'm going to do 10 minute videos, I'll do uh, a number until they're all done, okay? First one, alguna vez, alguna vez. Now, how that's used is um, quite often, it's like sometime, okay? But they use it in a question, which is, which is the question, have you ever, all right? When they want to know about something, have you ever done this? And how they, do, how they use alguna vez is, they'll say, alguna vez has comido paella? Alguna vez has comido paella? Which literally translates, have you ever eaten paella? Okay, or, or I say literally, it's any time have you eaten paella? Okay? Or once, okay? It also translates as once. For example, you can say, sabes, alguna vez um, Algo me pasó. Once something happened to me. Okay, one time. Alguna vez. Equally, you can say una vez. But typically, in the question, have you ever tried this? Have you ever tried that? The tend to use this is what I tend to hear. Alguna vez. Alguna vez has eh, conocido los Estados Unidos? Have you ever been to the United States? Okay, so alguna vez, very handy when you're asking questions. Next one, a medias, a medias. Okay, now this is very important, okay? This is a good one to learn, particularly if you spend time in Spain. You know that in Spain, um, they have a very, very different system, which is, we've talked about in our videos, if somebody invites you out for a coffee, for something to eat, whatever, they are going to pay. Typically, they will pay. Okay, even though you make the effort to, you know, put your hand in your wallet and that sort of pretense way. No, let me, let me pay, let me pay. No, they've invited you. Okay, it's called invitar a alguien. All right, but sometimes, obviously, the people just can't afford to pay. And so what you can do, and particularly if you're in a group of friends, you can talk about paying a medias. Vamos a pagar a medias. And that means half, half. I think in English we say to go Dutch. I don't know, obviously in, in Holland that's how they do it, okay? So, um, if you imagine somebody invites you out and you know that they haven't got enough money to pay, you can say, mira, vamos a pagar a medias. A medias, okay? All right, so half, half. Okay, this one is an interesting one. It's a que, a que. Okay, now, you will hear people starting sentences off with that. They'll say things like, ¿A qué está rica la comida? ¿A qué está, está bueno el hombre? Okay? Isn't the food great? Isn't that man good looking? Okay? So, ¿A qué? Now, where it comes from, if I understand it rightly, is um, ¿A puesto? ¿A qué? I bet that, okay? It comes from that, but they don't bother saying apuesto, okay? So they're saying, it's like them saying, 
Um, I bet that's nice, isn't it? Okay, but it, it isn't livery in the way that we would use that, I bet, but I think that's where it comes from. But they just, they don't bother with that. The livery just say, RK, blah, 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 okay? And it's the same version of, isn't it, okay? Isn't that nice? I bet that's nice, okay? A que? A que está rica la comida? Mm -hmm. Okay. A que? Good. How are we doing for time? Five minutes? Okay. Aha. A tomar algo. A tomar algo. If you've ever spent any time around Spanish speakers, and I think the world out, but certainly in Spain, you will hear them use this expression. A tomar algo. They, it's one of the favorite pastimes, okay? And it means to have something to eat or to drink, or preferably both at the same time, okay? So quite often they'll say, mira, vamos a, vamos al bar, vamos a tomar algo. ¿Quieres ir al bar a tomar algo? Mira, vamos a tomar algo por allí, okay? A tomar algo is have something, okay? Remember that uh, where in English we will say to have, I'm going to have a drink or have something to eat, they use the verb to take, tomar algo. And whereas in English we will normally specify have uh, something to eat or have something to drink, okay, they don't have to specify that. A tomar algo can mean both. Okay, and normally does. You see, certainly the Spanish, they don't just drink or they don't just eat, they tend to do both. Okay? Bien. Okay. Then we've got anda. Now, I've, I used to hear um, my mother-in-law, mi, mi suegra, used to say that all the time. Anda! Okay? And obviously, andar is what? To walk, okay? So what do you think that might be when somebody says, you say something to them like, oh, sabes que la, la vecina está embarazada? Otra vez! The neighbor's pregnant again, and they go, anda! Okay? And it means go on. Never! Goodness, go on! Eh, hey, you don't say, okay? Anda ya! Okay, and that means go on, goodness, you don't say. It's very common. It's like walk on, <laughs> walk on. But we say go on. Okay, but also, interestingly enough, you know when we want to encourage somebody and we'll say, go on, go on, they will say, anda, pasame, pasame eh, esa cosa, anda. Go on, okay? But normally you'll hear them and you've got, you've got to put your hand up in the air like this. You've got to go, Anda! <laughs> News that you don't believe, Anda! Okay? Or somebody's telling you something and you don't agree, Anda! Anda ya! Yeah. Okay? Nice one. Okay. Then we've got this expression. Aquí luchando, aquí luchando, aquí tirando. What does it mean? You know when somebody says to you, um, uh, how's the, how are things? How's everything going? You know those people that say, well, you know, struggling on. We're just struggling on. We're just, get, just getting by. Okay, there are the people that you don't want to spend a lot of time with because they depress you. But, the same expression in Spanish is, oh, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal estás? Bueno, aquí luchando. Here, fighting. Fighting on. <laughs> and also they say, um, tirando, aquí tirando. Here, pulling. Okay, fighting, pulling. And it just means just getting, just getting by. You know, nothing special. Okay? So I don't recommend that you use that, but you will hear it, okay? Okay. Um, also, this one, which is interesting, uh, in fact, we've hit 10 minutes, so 
I'm going to leave that one till the next one. We're still in the A's at the moment, eh? Okay, but these are all valuable um, expressions that you can use in day-to-day -day Spanish. Pues, nos vemos en el siguiente video. Hasta pronto. Adiós.